Hello Lego fans, Adult Fan of Lego UK here. Welcome to my review of the Winter Village Market set 10235. This is for ages 12 plus and has a piece count of 1261. It retails in the UK for £79.99 from the Lego store or the Lego store online. I've already done an unboxing um, of this particular set where I give you a complete view of the box itself um, and then obviously the contents, the instructions and each individual um, bag of Lego. So I'm going to put a link into um, that video below so if you want to take a look at that one please click on the link and it should take you straight there. So let's get straight into the review. Okay so as you can see it's quite a big set um, with a number of separate stalls and other accessories um, really really great fun to build there are a lot of small pieces in this um, and I will show you towards the end of this video um, I did a quick video capture of the small bits because I was quite surprised by just how many small pieces there are but that, that didn't dis detract from the actual fun um, with regards to the build great little set and I say this would be a really good one for getting the family involved especially particularly because it's obviously the winter theme so what I'm going to do I'm going to take you through each little module um, that comes with the set itself so that we can take a look so here we have uh, one of the little stores that we can see here this is like um, it's like a barbecue sort of area you can see if I go around to the back there there's this like a barbecue sort of grill here um, we can see the minifigure inside, he's holding his hot dog um, and um, chicken piece there ready to put on the um, grill. Um, obviously got some lights up on the top here. Um, we can see the roof, kind of the Festus theme with these bricks depicting snow on the top. A couple of little um, mugs or cups here. Um, and then on the front here we have like the um, Christmas wreath. Um, kind of design going on there, so really great little sort of market stall there for the market village. Okay, next up we have this one, which is more of a sort of a candy shop, sweet shop. Um, as we can see here, we have a couple of lollipops, and these are printed little pieces on here. Um, we also have some little pieces down here which are like, look like sort of like little cupcakes or something. And little cakes. A couple of little jars here, and these could be sweet jars. And again, got the Christmas wreath on the top. Got this bit here, which is like um, the parasol coming out the front. And again on the roof, these. Obviously, white tiles um, depicting snow scene, and obviously inside we have our lady there um, selling our selling her goods. Okay, moving over to this one. This one is more of a um, a little baker, a little bakery. You can see here we have some croissants, um, some little cakes here, probably little cupcakes again, and a pie of some description there. We can see our lady inside there, hopefully you can see that, with a pretzel in her hand. We're going to see it better from the rear. Um, and again, keeping the theme, we've got the Christmas wreath up here. A number of these are depicting um, lights going underneath the edge of the roof there. Some great little added features and again, white tiles depicting the snow obviously on the roof. Um, of this particular set. Okay, then on to have a little bench scene, which we can see here. So we have two children um, in this particular one. I'll give you a quick sh review at the minifigures towards the end. And we have our bench there with a cat playing on the bench. We have this lamp, lamp post light here um, with, again with a, a reef, a Christmas reef on the top there so again some great little features here so that's our little 
bench scene. We then have these little tables. Okay, so that one there, a little cupcake on it, or another table there with um, another mug on it, and then just a empty one, just a little empty table. So that's somewhere to go and eat the food and drinks and stand around those and obviously socialise. Okay, so finally, I'm just going to push these ones back a little bit. We have our main part of this set, which is this, which is the um, uh, the carousel scene. Just taking that off there. Try to move it. Okay, just going to move this down. And this is a really good little set, part of the set here. So the main function or feature here is obviously the carousel itself. You can see here there's another little um, stall here. Um, and this is like a, um, um, a little fairground one really where you can toss some pieces into the buckets and obviously win, win a prize and there's a little teddy there but I'll show you that. So just while we're here we've got another lamp post here, another light with again another Christmas wreath there. We have a small Christmas tree here. Uh, round towards the rear here there is another Christmas tree there. Okay if we spin it round you can see obviously the steps up to get in to the actual carousel itself. So we've got three lots of those. Okay, on the roof, um, again another little cool feature, these are actually all material um, on the top here, blue and white material, I think it gives it a really great kind of um, a look to it. So I'm going to show you the actual main feature on this, which is, that there, which is obviously the carousel spin and the horses rocking. Really simple little mechanism. I'll spin that round here. Hopefully you can see that. Simply that lever there. And there's a number of Technic pieces, so pick this up. You can see that there. You can see the gear shifting. And it goes through here into the carousel itself. Again, hopefully you can see those move along there. So while I've got that there, hopefully you can see on the horse, there is some really good printing detail, which I believe is new to this set, on the horse's um, nose and face, on both of them. I'm sure you can see there on that one. Um, we can see in the rear here, some really good detail, um, with our little one by one studs. Um, blue and orange to sort of give the effect of some lights going down the centre pillar there. I think it really does look great. Underneath, I'm going to try and turn this back. You can see these arch pieces going under there again. I think it just looks really, really cool. Round the edge or the top edge of the carousel, you will see as I'm spinning that, each one of these here, these are actually stickers. You see that one there. These are stickers, like mirror sort of stickers on each one of those and obviously as you're spinning it, it reflects, reflects the light. Um, again, we have some um, little one by one studs, blue and orange again to um, depict lights around the side of it and these little gold flat studs as well. Again, I just think it looks absolutely fantastic. The amount of detail on this, a real lot of thought have gone into this. So on the carousel itself, obviously we have our horses with a printed face, um, the saddle area. And the only difference on each one of these is this one has the sort of flame pieces here. So this one has blue. I'll spin that around, you'll see that one has red. Down here, this is a again another sticker, but same sort of mirrored sort of um, background on it with some um, red pattern on it red and blue. Again you can see exactly the same on that one. We then have two cars, um, they could be sleighs I guess, but sort of cars. You see there, there's a blue one 
on that one, and I'll spin it around, and then we have a different style one there, which is a green one. So they're both different styles. As you can see there, and I'll bring that blue one around again. Hopefully you can see that. Okay, I think that's probably the main one for the main carousel part. Spin this back round. I just want to show you this little store because this is really great. Uh, another great feature actually. Some good thought went into this. Let's bet we're going to run a light a torch. So hopefully we can. Uh, hoping this is going to work to shine up in there. Hopefully you can see inside there. There are some buckets on top of the um, large cog piece there um, and obviously this is a little game so what you do is you would throw these pieces and try and get them into the bucket so when I spin this which I'll do a second or turn the mechanism you'll see that those buckets spin themselves Hopefully you can see that in there. So obviously what would happen, you would toss the little pieces, try and get them in the buckets, and if you get them in, you win a prize. And that would be your prize. A little teddy bear. Okay, so spinning round, you can see on the side of this one, again, there's some um, Christmas wreaths. There's a little garbage can or dustbin down here, green one. Another Christmas tree there at the back. Um, so again, some really great detail. Um, I think that is about it. I'll just put that back down there. Now, like I said, I think this is an absolutely excellent set. Um, if you have a look at my unboxing, I'm going to go through the, some features on there. But this is £79.99, pence. Um, like I said, in the UK. Um, and with a piece count of, oh, what was it, 1000 261 I think it is absolutely fantastic value for money um, and not only that there are also nine minifigures um, that come with this particular set so what I'm going to do now guys take on the minifigures off this and I will show you the minifigures okay just going to show you the minifigures now that come with this set um, comes with four um, little people or children um, which we can see here so I'm just going to go along the front of all these little boy there, a girl, um, another girl, and then finally um, another boy. As you can see all of those on there. Show you the back. This is some rear torso printing. Rear torso printing of some description on all um, four of those. You can see this one has a little hat on. You can see obviously the girl's hair piece there. And this girl's got more of a, um, a bob um, hair piece. Um, and then finally the little boy there with his hair. Okay, we then have a total of five adults. So starting with this one first. Uh, we can see here um, our older, well, not necessarily older, but he kind of has the Santa beard on this one. Um, we have a, a lady there, she's got this little green satchel that she's holding. Um, another lady. Let me show you the rear of these. You can see some torso printing to the rear there. That one's blank, and also he's blank too, so you can see her hairpiece. That lady's hairpiece there, and he's obviously got the little blue cap on. Final two minifigures. We have our lady who works in the bakery holding her pretzel there. Some good little, um, sorry, some good printing on the torso. And our man there who works in the grill or the barbecue. 